So recently, someone at work asked me a Power BI related question. He said, how do I filter a table to show only a list of relevant items of only around five or 10 items? The question came from our key account managers who regularly consume his Power BI report from Power BI service. He has no knowledge of DAX, Power Query, or Power BI data model. So I need to give him something simple that he can apply over and over again. I did some Googling and couldn't find a quick solution. But thankfully, a Power BI expert at work came to our rescue and taught me something cool. I was so impressed with his recommendation and I told him that I will dedicate my next video to him. His cool recommendation is included in this video as option number three. In the rest of this video, I will show you a simple Power BI report to illustrate the challenge that we face when trying to filter a report to show only a list of five items. I will then share with you the three options which can be used to tackle the problem. Let's get started. One way to shorten the list is by utilizing the slicer that has been set up over here. If we select what's relevant, such as avocado, and then scroll down and look for mango, oh my god, it is hard work to scroll down because it is such a long list. Oh, 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 where are you, mango? And then, oops, it's annoying because if you scroll down and you forgot to press control now you have to scroll up again and find avocado because otherwise it got unticked so you need to make sure you press control whilst clicking because now then we have avocado and mango uh, but now we need to find ginger and you need to scroll down again so i don't really like this solution because it is hard work to scroll up and down option number two is to use filter so click the chevron button to expand the filter pane and check if any filter has been set up. Well, at the moment, this is blank. So we need to first drag the relevant field and drop them into filter on this page. I'm going to type fruit and vegetables because that's the field that I want to filter on. And as a default, it will display basic filtering on this section. Now we want to filter avocado. So many people would immediately scroll down and then click and then scroll down again and look for the second item, which is mango. Now, this is not a good approach because scrolling is tiring, right? So don't do this. This is not efficient. A better way would be rather than scrolling, just type it in the search. Type ginger like that. Look how quickly you can find ginger. Type okra. Look how quickly you can find okra and then type broccoli and voila all done so that is option number two see how now the report is only displaying five items all right option number three is to use advanced filter so open the filter pane and swap basic filtering to advanced filtering and Power BI allow us to show items when value contains avocado, so just type it there, or mango, so contains. Now, if we enter that, then avocado and mango are displayed in this table. Now, the challenge is we want more than two items, but there isn't any space to enter additional criteria. So this becomes a little bit tricky, but there is a workaround so that we can have more options being displayed. And the workaround is by changing the filter type to basic first, temporarily, and then by selecting five items, if we want five items to be included in the selection, and then after that, swap it again to advanced filtering. Once you have selected five in basics, we suddenly have options for five criteria to be entered. So now we can type avocado, mango, ginger, okra, and broccoli. And then hit apply filter. And voila, we've got the answer on the left. See, 
advanced filtering is so much more powerful than the basic filtering because we can select other stuff we can say does not contain avocado and then we can change the n and or and maybe change it to does not contain mango and then n does not contain ginger and contains okra for example we can mix and match this is such a powerful filtering feature now obviously if we set something that says you know it doesn't contain all of this thing but need to contain okra i'm expecting to see only one thing which is okra over here yeah but if i change that into does not contain okra then it will display everything in my original list minus the avocado mango ginger okra and broccoli now you may remember 117 was the beginning count less five should be 112 but why is that our total is only 110 now if you remember broccoli displayed more than just one earlier so if we change that to, to basic temporarily we have more than one broccoli look at that three which is why it's only 110. Mm. So, what do you think? Which options are your preferred options? I sincerely hope that you have learned something useful that will become handy in your day-to-day -day life.